So they're lifting the panel up. The two guys on the ground are actually stabilizing the bottom of it. The hook is setting on the, it's attached on the inside of the panel. So they've spun it around. We now see the blue lines on the inside. And the gable rake wall is sloped from the low eave wall to the middle where the ridge beam is gonna set. The posts are already in the panel at the middle, which will support the ridge beam. The plant pre-installs those. You can see how the panel is tipped slightly so that it sits a little bit high to the right on the piece that's already in place. They'll, they'll get the bottom left corner started over the sill plate as they lower down the, the um, hook, the lifting hook. And now they'll, they'll relax it and the panel will just tip into, the, into place, attaching itself on the right-hand side into the thermal post. And again, we don't have mastic or sealant in because of the, the learning situation, but the same technique would be used in the field for setting the panels. Okay, so a couple of things on what you saw as they set that panel in place. Somebody was asking earlier the lifting point, where they picked it up. You saw that as they picked it up, the panel was tipped a little bit to the left side. You also saw that the leading edge of the panel, as it was being fit into the thermal post of the first panel that was set, if you start the bottom of the panel about where that blue line is at that horizontal chase, the lower chase, get the panel started on the thermal post and then have the back sitting on the sill plate, the panel will just rock into place. When you have the sealant on there acting as a lubricant, you almost have to be careful that as this thing is tipping down into place, it may want to bounce back because it's so slippery. So you, you may have to hold it in place that way, or once it comes down, use the hammer um, maul to move it into place. Or you can take a ratchet strap, in this case, go around the window, hook it on the back side, a couple strap cranks on that. If you're going to use the ratchet straps, so it's nothing more than just a trucking strap. There's two different ends that the truckers use. A lot of times you'll see the, the hook um, that looks like a J. Just If you use that on OSB and you put a lot of force on it, it will just rip itself right through the OSB. I suggest you take a look at the flat plate. It looks more like an angle that you get that type of ratchet strap. That way when you hook to a window, it has a little more purchase, a little more area to spread that force out over. If you're gonna use the ratchet straps and the plates to pull panels together, then the kind with the hook makes sense because you can use the hook into the panel or, or the, the lifting plate and then it will work in that situation. So a couple different techniques you can use. Yes.